Hear me and rejoice. You have the privilege of seeing a review by the great Project Piper Customs. It may look like suffering. No, it is salvation. The YouTube scales tip to balance because of your views, likes, comments and subscribes. Let's go. Welcome back Toy Fam. Now let's have a look at Mr. Moore up close and personal. Okay, as we can see, comes with one of Thanos' legs. No idea if it's right or left. We'll look at that in a mo. But we have the Avengers Infinity War Ebony Moore. That's a bar. Let's have a look at the side. We've got some nice artwork there. Spin it round. And Ebony Moore is number two. So number two would be his left leg. Okay. And here is all the figures you need, not you, to complete Mr. Armored Thanos. Okay. Nice picture on the back. I have to lower it down because of my camera angle. So we'll look at this side. Some more lovely artwork. Right, so let's get this dude out of the packaging so we can all awe at Ebony Moore. Here we are with Ebony Moore out of his packaging. As you can see, he comes with the left leg for Thanos. Let's get him out of the way as we'll be building him later. And let's bring Ebony Moore up close and for inspection. Right, here we are. Let's start with the head, shall we? Okay, so. Printing wise, that's not a bad look actually. I did pretty well with the sculpt. Not much color going on, just a little bit of like a dry brush technique going on with some white to emphasize some of the sculpt work. I'm assuming obviously this this printing technology they got, they have uh, programs to emulate some you know certain types of uh, painting techniques. But yeah, um, looks like the hair, just one piece at the back. Looks like it's separate, but there isn't any like extra strands. A little bit going here and on top. But uh, in terms of his eyes, let's get him in focused. Yeah, not a lot of detail going on there. But uh, overall, not bad. Pretty much exact res resemblance to Ebony in the movie. Okay, let's go over the body, shall we? Some nice gold, metallic gold detail going on here. And obviously some dark, some blacks and some light greys. All seemed quite nice. Now what the hell is going on here? This just looks like a failed attempt at a black wash. I have no idea what's going on here. Um, but it did feel like Hasbro were rushing these waves out. As there's another one coming very, very soon. So, yeah, not too pleased with that. All seems okay down here. Again, wicked detail going on with the gold. Nice little details with his hands. All looks all right. I love the texture. Mixing it up. See, when they come to movie figures, they really do go all out with some details. Well, they do their best, more so than the comic book ones. So let's carry on. Wicked detail going on with his flaps. These are just rubber, and a quite a soft piece, so they won't get in the way of articulation. Oh, sorry. And yeah, going on to his boots. Simple detail on the boots. All right. Whew. There we go. Okay, seeing as he has no accessories whatsoever, Let's just go straight into articulation and cue the cheesy YouTube transition. And there he is. Your powers are quick. Okay, so get out the dab you. Right, so let's go over his articulation. Start with the head. Okay, his head can turn left and right as usual. Most Marvel Legends can. And he can look up that much. He's hindered slightly by the sculpt of his hair and he can look all the way down that, that much and there's obviously a horrible gap there unfortunately but uh, yeah so that is the head okay moving on to the arms and bring his shoulders up to here he has bicep swivel but a very odd cut in the bicep as you can see it tries to mimic the sculpt of the arm and when it's down the edges will catch on the body which is annoying so to get full rotation on the bicep you have to bring it out slightly Okay, so we'll bring it up, double jointed elbows as per huge, bringing it back out. It's quite a loose little wrist, but it's up and down and a swivel, nicely sculpted hands, 
no doubt for holding the tesseract which we'll try in a bit and all the same for the other side let's have a look at this wrist again up and down on that wrist and a swivel going over to the midsection he obviously has a, a ball joint in the middle there which allows him for a lot of uh, boogieing and then he can lean forward about that much lean back about this much it's not too bad no waist swivel at all obviously it's just sculpted all the way down so we'll move on to the legs okay so the legs can kick out about that far don't go back any further than that and you can outstretch for a nice van dam that much here okay. nice double joint on the knee upper thigh swivel no boot cut that's all just one solid uh, static piece there i believe you'll see it is joined there but it doesn't swivel and your standard ankle rocker foot goes up about that much and then points down like a ballerina really well okay and there and that is how this bad boy can move first before we get into some size comparisons i've got to try how he holds the tesseract so here we have the tesseract and seeing as his hand seems to be sculpted pretty much conveniently to hold it we are going to try now these hands are quite malleable so they can be fingers can move around quite a bit let's get some focus going hello right let's try see if we can get him in okay do we have it do we have it not bad not bad it can work a bit more finagling there you go let's try the other hand give me that and this one is just posed in a sort of semi open hand now it doesn't look like this one is meant to hold it but we're going to give it a try anyway see if it will work a little bit more finagling it can hold it it probably will just uh yeah it doesn't hold it very well but it can hold it for sure moving on to some size comparisons here we have him next to the SH Figure Arts Doctor Strange, Mafex Homecoming Spider-Man, and the Marvel Legends Infinity War Iron Man. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Hulk and Marvel Legends Infinity War Thanos. Okay, so final thoughts on this guy, and from what he lacks in accessories, he makes up for in playability. Definitely a good looking figure, and a good representation of the character from the movie, minus a few details. But definitely worth picking up if you're looking to complete your MCU Black Order. The Marvel Legends are the only one to bring him out so far, we'll see if any other toy lines bring him out too. But for now, he's definitely worth picking up for sure, and one of the highlights of the wave. That's a wrap from me guys, thanks so much for watching, if you could hit the hat trick of like, subscribe and notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest videos coming out, I will be dropping reviews of this wave throughout the week, all in prep of that new X-Men wave that's coming, very much excited about that one. I am on social media, Facebook and Instagram at Project Piper Customs, and also if you're on Facebook please do check out the Detroit Comics Inc. Facebook group fastest growing community for action figures on the social media with loads of toy art and weekly competitions and also if you fancy a chance at winning a 112 scale diorama then head on over to the official plastic action uk youtube channel check out the competition video there and also on the official instagram all the links will be in the description but definitely check out the website at www.plasticactionuk.co.uk for full terms and conditions on the competition and also a bunch of tips tricks and techniques to improve your toy photography and loads more fun stuff like that okay guys that is me i am out and i will see you in the next video until then